Let's look on some light sources we have it inside the view. And we can access them from going Object Created, or we can go on our toolbar on the left side, and we can go to Sections with the lights and select from here. The, by default, the velocity you use, it's selected. But you notice right here we have a triangle, so it's mean if we right-click, it will extend the menu. And we can select different types of light sources, from light panels, directional light, spotlight quadric or normal, as well as a point light standard or a quadric. So let's select quadric. And different between quadristic and a standard, it is how fast the light fall out on the end linear in a normal and more as a parabolic inside the quadrant. So right here we have a light, point light selected. So let's create some um, object and I want to just drop it so we can preview some shadows. And you can see in our main camera preview effect. So when we select our spotlight or our point light, sorry, you notice we have a color we can modify color of the light. Okay, so let's go select it and set maybe to a little bit reddish, which is affected. The point is intensity and saturation of this light is affecting by the power. So if we increase higher power, you notice right here by intensity it's become white and less red. It is reflected as natural light with intensity of that. So on the spotlight we have our power that we can increase decreasing and the softness that will affect our shadows that created from this light. Let's look on a spotlight and we'll use a standard for this. So as a spotlight we have it can control the direction it's going. Okay, let me disable quadric. And you notice right here it is highlight only in the area the light is distributing. You can control light by again modifying power. You also can modify softness, that is will affect shadows. And different is also you have it spread and fall out. So we can increase the area it's covered. As well when we increase fallout, notice right here on this edge how it will be softer effect applied. The couple things you will notice right here we also have an option of view true. So right here we view on our main view from the camera. If we enable, we started seeing from the our light. And now when I start modifying, I modify this view through my light. So it's helped me to kind of properly position and see the point where my light see through. There are also additional options we have it below. It is um, on off switch same as if you use the world browser and enable here as well we have the options to influence spectral atmosphere and the clouds this is very useful because if you're using for example quadric or maybe area light or other ones you can create a lighting inside the sky which will light up clouds as well so you can use it that effect as well so right here we have it um, options the next also we have it, for example, area light. And this is, in some cases, thinks about acting as a directional, like a sunlight, because sunlight, it is directional. So it's have it some proper same as a sun. Okay, it will help if you want a, additional direction. And again, the direction lights is set like almost to infinity point. So it can go from um, far away and sometimes help you with intensity maybe offset some shadowing effect or add a little bit more softness to the shadows. And we'll have it also the panel light, okay. which is a kind of like a um, plane that produces light in specific directions. This is very useful when you have it like science maybe created or maybe light in ceilings or overall, maybe opening window in the ceiling, you can have a lot of interesting effects with this. For this light, we have it a little bit limited. We have the power effect and as well as color. So let me delete this one. The one other ones you can create it. It is from almost any object, from text, terrain, even from the trees. Objects. So for example, right here, we have our sphere. 
you can create a mesh object, right click, and you always can convert to area light. You also can undo to go previous state. You notice this is also creating area light and it will act in effect as a, almost like a panel light. So in this case, with this effect, you can create a neon sign or other effect from the text or maybe like light up some elvish fantasy trees if you can apply this to the same convert the area light to the trees as well. Um, as well one other things which is nice to create area light for example if we look right here on this light quadric light you can see influence but you cannot see um, light source itself till we enable for example lens flare or a little bit more volumetric effect but with the area light kind of when you create it you can see point so we can create effect like flying firebugs maybe or some other ones with those particles so it's kind of very useful and nice 